Hi boys and girls. Today for our drawing, we're gonna go back to those tropical areas and we're gonna be working on a toucan. It's a fun exotic bird. Now there are lots of different kinds of toucans in the world. And online, I'm gonna put this beautiful picture of all those different birds. See their beaks? All of them have different colored beaks. All of them have different size beaks. The ones we're more familiar with is probably the keel build toucan and the toco toucan. This one's kind of like toucan Sam on the Fruit Loops box, right? So we're gonna do a similar one to that today, to that toco toucan. All right, let's get started. So to start with our toucan today, we're actually gonna start with the tree branch, at least the bottom of the tree branch. So to do that near the bottom, you wanna leave a little bit of room for his tail though. I'm gonna make a great big curve line that comes up. All right, around the center of your picture, you're gonna have to make one U, two U's. Mine are about the size of a dime, if you can kind of estimate that size. And then I'm gonna make one, two, a little zigzag to make those three little talons, I guess, because he's a bird, right, on each side. All right, next we wanna make the top of the branch. The top of the branch is gonna come in. You're gonna stop at the foot, Go through, go all the way across, get a little bit thinner because that's the end of our tree branch over there. I gotta finish my line over here. Okay, now I wanna work on my toucan's body. So from here, along the side of the foot, I'm gonna come up, inward a little, and then all the way across until my line is past this foot. You see how I did that? Now I wanna work on that beak. So you're actually gonna make a straight line down about to the middle of his body. He's got a really big beak, so about half the size. And then here, you're gonna make a curve and outward. That's the other half of his body. So your beak is gonna be mainly in this area where we just put that straight line. For the beak, I'm gonna come over all the way near the edge of the paper and go down. Then, you're gonna leave yourself a little bit of space, maybe make a dot right about there. Make another dot down here, because this bottom section is gonna be the bottom of the beak, but this part is gonna connect with a curve here. Notice how I made it kind of pointy at the end? Because that's how Toucan's beak should be at that point. This part here, we're gonna come up and stop a little bit higher for the bottom of his beak. All right, the Toucan has a black section at the very end. And then we're gonna put some striped areas. My stripes are gonna be a little thicker on top and a little thinner at the bottom. See how I did that? I'm just gonna leave it two stripes. Next is that area where the eye is. I'm gonna make mine a little curvier. This way it's good to work on pencil. All right, so going from this middle area between the two parts of his mouth, I'm gonna start with a curve and go almost to the end and go back and follow the shape of that line. Good. Now I wanna work on his eye. His eye is gonna take up a good portion of that space. You don't wanna make it too small. So I make a nice big circle. I make a nice big circle inside of that. And I'm gonna leave a little white spot. And again, I have a marker, so you guys could do this later or you can do it now. I'm gonna color that area for his eye. So cute. All right, next at the very bottom, we're gonna come down, make two curves, and then a line in the middle for the bottom of his tail. Awesome. All right, now that our toucan's done, we wanna work on that tree branch. So from here, I'm gonna come up, curve, not quite to the very corner of the paper. Then I'm gonna make a V. This is always a good way that we can draw a tree branch. You make a V, come back to the bottom, finish off that section. If you wanna make another piece of the tree branch here, you can make two lines that come together. And we're good. Next, we could do the leaves, kind of fill in all that space. One curve, another curve, line down the middle, and then arrows, arrow, 
Same thing here. One curve, another curve, line, arrow, arrow. So I want to put some more leaves. I'm just going to do them a little more quickly to fill that space. A bigger leaf here. I want to move to the other side. I'm going to make a little leaf just to give it some variety over here. This one coming out a little bit bigger. Take my time making those lines straight. And then I'll do another big one here at the bottom. All right, good. And we have our toucan. He looks awesome. So now when you guys color it, again, you can choose to follow one of my pictures or you can go with my original drawing. This was colored in crayon. So you can either use crayon, you can use markers, whatever works best for you guys to get those beautiful colors. And again, if you wanna change the colors of the beak to fit one of the other two cans, that's great too. All right, thanks for following along today.